Australia lost thousands of troops in the Gallipoli campaign, but there's reason to believe this number could have been much, much higher. The first thing that makes me think this is the withdrawal. This is usually the most costly maneuver that happens during a battle where you try and disentangle yourself from the enemy. Due to people like Bill Scurry, who invented the drip rifle, we were able to make the Turkish believe we were still there as rifle shots went off at random intervals throughout the night that we left. The second reason I think we could have lost many, many more men was that we were in Gallipoli, not in the meat grinder that was the Western Front. And we can see that with our very first encounter after we've arrived. Having spent a gruelling eight months in Gallipoli, the Australian soldiers were finally sent to the main theatre of the First World War, the Western Front. And it's here that the first Australians faced what would become the, the grinding uh, battles of the Western Front. You, you see here the, uh, the little French village of Fromelles. And it's here that the 5th Division, the most inexperienced Australian division, teamed up with another equally inexperienced uh, division, the 61st British Division. And they attacked uh, in what was supposed to be a feint to draw the attention away from the um, incoming Somme offensive. And due to partly their inexperience, due to the type of attack that it was, uh, we lost five and a half thousand casualties in a little over 24 hours. It was a brutal start to the Australian's Western Front campaign. <laughs> 